Well, bless the name of Jesus. This morning at the, um, we're here at the, the Marriott Toronto International um, yeah, Hotel well. <laughs> <laughs> here on Dixon Road, that's at the intersection of Dixon and Collinsview. However, um, we had an awesome time of worship here also with Crystal and, and some other individuals, um, some of his backup um, singers and different speakers and whatnot. But here I have with me a beautiful and a gorgeous mm -hmm. Nubian. I love to say Nubian. I consider all <laughs> Africans Nubian. My Nubian sister here, she has such a lovely voice. As you know that when King, um, King Josaphat heard that his city was coming under attack, the scripture tells us in Second Chronicles that he got up early in the morning and called a solemn assembly. But first he called and he anointed and appointed the singers. And the singers started to praise and God and worship. And it says that the enemy was confused and they started to kill themselves. So definitely this morning, through one of these, these, um, this voice here, the enemy was confused and he got defeated. And I just want this young lady here to, to basically talk to you and, and let you know what her experience was and, and, and as a praise and worship um, leader. A pastor as well? No. <laughs> okay. So, go ahead. Uh, uh, bonjour, je vais vous parler en français. Ce sera plus facile pour moi. Parce que si je parle en anglais, je, je serai limitée. Je rends grâce à Dieu pour ce qu'il accomplit. Je suis chante comme uh, le pasteur vient de le dire depuis maintenant beaucoup d'années. Depuis que j'ai 15 ans que j'ai commencé à servir le Seigneur par les chants. Et uh, depuis. J'ai expérimenté sa bonté, sa grandeur, combien il me donne toujours des sujets pour l'adorer. Et c'est euh, merveilleux avec notre Seigneur Jésus. C'est quelqu'un qui ne te laisse jamais seul, qui est avec toi partout dans tout ce que tu fais ou tu accomplis, il est là. Et euh, c'est pour ça qu'il dit qu'il cherche des vrais adorateurs, qui vont l'adorer en esprit et en vérité. Et ce n'est pas pour rien, parce qu'il nous donne toujours, chaque jour, les sujets pour l'adorer, les sujets pour le louer. La Bible nous dit qu'il renouvelle sa bonté tous les jours. Ce n'est pas pour rien, c'est pour que tu puisses tous les jours l'adorer. Alors merci et on est vraiment béni ici. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Well, I must say merci beaucoup to my sister here. I, as I said, I, I am not too um, fluent in French. When I was, as you know, one of the, in Ontario, it's not a requirement to take French, but to some, when you go to private school, French is, is a must. I dropped out of French school and, and, and I'm suffering for it now. But thank God that we have, as I said yesterday, North America or the Western world went into Africa, evangelized and taught us their language. Now we're using it back to evangelize this nation, Canada and other parts of the world. Amen. Because the Spirit of God says this is the end time where we will pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. Mm -hmm. And God is pouring out His Spirit here through this conference at the Mega Miracle um, Revival, I would like to call it. And as I stated before, this sister, she spoke eloquently in the French language, which I know some of you out there I've gotten the message. And here I have my brother here. Uh, my brother here, I just wanted to, for him to give his testimony or a word that and how, what his experience is or was for at this conference that is going on to, um, this weekend. Your name is? Uh, Albert. Albert. So I want Albert to speak with, to you how he knows best. Come on, Aurora. So come on, Albert. Come to the camera and, and, and come and talk. Just tell the people um, what this experience um, is like for you. I don't know. What is your... Um, do you sin? Do you... Um, are you just a participant in what, in what capacity? I just speak English. You speak in your language. <laughs> Somebody out there will, will know yeah. what you say. Yeah. 
in your language. Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> God is good and his mercy endures forever. I just want you to know that, you know, this man is hesitating. You know what? Moses, when God called him, he told, uh, he said to God, God, I'm a man of, uh, I stuttered, I cannot speak. But God says, open your mouth and I will speak to, to your people. And I'm sure that you have the word of God in you. Do you not? Yeah, yeah. So speak the word of God to the audience. In your language or in whatever so God leads you. Buenas fia sana. Asalimu nyinyi wote. Hapa tuko kwenye mkutano. Mimi natoka Quebec. Nimekuja kumkutana nake kuna mambo Mungu anayofanya ndani ya maisha ya mwanadamu. Yaani tunabarikiwa sana. E, tumeshika safari ndefu ili tukuje kutanana na huyo Bwana. Huyo Mungu aliyetuita, huyo Mungu aliyetufia juu msalabani. Ndio maana ndugu katika Kristo safari tuliyoanza tuendelee Mungu awabariki Well bless the Lord I don't get a full understanding what was said but I know that he's speaking about Jehovah God mm -hmm. the Elohim the God of the universe and whatever um, was said to you through his native tongue I know that God is able to meet your needs according to his riches in glory. So commit your life to the Lord and I'm sure that God will elevate you from glory to glory and from grace to grace and, and allow him to, to always be the source and the center of your existence. Here's another brother I know he has the word of God with him and, and he's a man that God has brought from a different level to another level. And I, just, and I know he has been experiencing the conference or the revival since the 20th. So I just want him to come in and share with you, um, the viewer, what God has done for him and what God is doing for him and what his expectation is for the rest of this revival. Good speaking. Bonjour, je m'appelle le pasteur Nidikira Ezekias. Je viens de l'Afrique centrale, mais actuellement je vais ici à Québec il y a plus de 20 ans. Donc nous sommes venus de Québec, dans le pays de, du Canada, et nous sommes ici à Toronto pour une croisade. Donc beaucoup de miracles s'opèrent par notre évêque Jacobé et par le nom de l'Éternel, puisqu'il invoque le nom de Dieu en Jésus-Christ, en passant par notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Et nous avons vu beaucoup de merveilles, des sourds muets qui sont guéris, des boîtes qui sont restaurées, des gens qui ne parlaient plus, qui sont en train de parler, des gens qui ne marchaient plus, qui sont en train de marcher. C'est merveilleux de vivre les bons moments avec le Seigneur, notre Dieu, notre Roi. Et nous sommes ici dans la joie. Et nous voilà dans cet hôtel où nous nous réunissons pour commencer notre, je dirais, l'avant-garde pour se remémorer et se remettre dans l'ambiance de val éternel avant qu'on aille dans la croisade proprement dit. Donc nous sommes dans une salle de conférence de l'hôtel Dixon de Toronto et c'est là où nous sommes en train de vivre l'ambiance fraternelle entre les frères qui viennent de partout, des États-Unis, d'Ottawa, d'autres contrées du Canada, d'autres provinces canadiennes et nous aussi nous nous rassemblons ensemble en tant qu'enfants de Dieu et nous vivons des moments merveilleux. Et voilà que je suis avec le serviteur de Dieu, votre nom, your name? Reverend Mitchell. Reverend? Pastor Mitchell. Yeah. Mitchell. Mitchell. Uh, because I don't know how to speak very good to English, uh, but uh, God bless you. I am happy to see you and to, to meet you 
Thank you very much. Well, definitely, I, I am overwhelmed to be in the presence of of the, my brothers here. I've, I've, um, the Terry spoke that he had gone to Africa twice. I've never gotten to, to the opportunity to go to Africa, but I am here in Africa because Africa came to me. Amen, <laughs> amen, amen. So yes. um, definitely, you see where Marcus Garvey was saying that we must go back to Africa. But you know what? God says that wherever we place our feet, that in spite of all we got there, we must thank God for it and occupy until he comes. Amen. So we are here in Canada and we're occupying until the Lord Jesus return. If he will have us to go back to Africa and other parts of the world, that's his will and his desire. But for now, we are here in Toronto, Canada, and where the man it came from Tanzania, Tanzania, Tanzania. Yeah. to come to Canada to declare what thus says the Lord. Because the Lord does not only have a word for Africa, yeah. but he also have a word for Canada. And the word for Canada is repent. The word for Africa was accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But we are now saying to Canada, you need to repent and turn from your thwarted and perverse ways and come back into the righteousness of God. And then the pouring and the outpouring will come upon God's land once again. You know, in the National Anthem of Canada, it says, in God we tr No, that's America. America. God save our land. Something like, oh, Canada, oh, native land. It have God in there somewhere. Yeah. But we need to take our national anthem at heart and say, God, we need you more so today than ever. So we're saying to you, Canada, you need to repent and come back and allow God to take back authority in the schools, in the government, and in the, everywhere else. We need prayer back in school. We do not necessarily need police in schools. We need prayer in schools. So I am praying that the government heads will come to a place to realize that they cannot do it on their own. We're only mere flesh. And the foolishness of God confounds the wisest man, according to scripture. So we need to come back to basic. Allow God to take precedence in our daily living. Our children need God. They don't, do not need guns. They do not need knives or, or other types of, of foolishness in their life. We need God. We need God yesterday, today, and forever. So I'm saying that we need to continue to thank God for such a revival as this that is going on in Toronto. You know, there are, there are so many things back in Jamaica where I'm from. In the school, we used to sometimes don't have any seeds. We have dirt and whatnot. But God has blessed us to come to this place where we can see how, hallelujah, the forefathers or the four, um, the patriot has built this country on the, the, the name of Jesus Christ. So we do not need nothing else. We need to come back to God. Self is destruction. It says the heart of a man is despitefully wicked and evil. But God will transform our hearts and our minds if we allow him to take root in our lives. You know, when King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar realized that God is the true and living God, guess what he did? He started to put forth resources to rebuild back the walls of Jerusalem. So we need the government of Canada to know that we do not need to think about what any other religious groups are saying because it was not their religion that built this country, but it was on the, the sure foundation of Jesus Christ that built this nation. And if they are coming to this country, I believe, they're finding refuge here. So we need to let them know that it is through Jesus Christ why we have such a 
beautiful and awesome land of peace. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.